today we're going to talk a little bit about spinner baits and some of the different options and different applications and when to use these spinner baits. So first we're going to talk about the willow leaf spinner bait. This spinner bait is probably the most common widely seen and widely used spinner bait on the market. You can get silver, more of the gold colored blades. Uh, uh, this right here is a half ounce spinner bait. This one will go a little deeper uh, on the dive and on the retrieve. It's of course a lot farther you can throw it depending on the weight. Uh, it's going to handle better in maybe heavier brush structure like grass and things or, or in higher rougher water conditions. But this is a willow leaf spinnerbait and of course it gets its name from the shape of the actual blade here shaped like a willow leaf. I absolutely love throwing willow leaf blades. It is probably the most utilized uh, tackle in my tackle box. As soon as my trolling motor hits the water spinnerbait's going out right with it. And that's probably one of the last things I throw before I call it a day. Uh, this is a fantastic reaction bait uh, to throw out there. Uh, it can be rough water conditions, it can be calm, it can be windy. Windy, a uh, little bit of a wave uh, can actually help promote a spinnerbait bite. Uh, this is designed, these blades are designed to spin in the water, give off a vibration, and also give off a reflection. A reflection that will emulate uh, a bait fish, like a bluegill. This one has got more of the green chartreuse, which will give you a little bit more of a, a, a bluegill color. And uh, when a bait fish makes a hard turn, its scales will actually reflect light. And fish see that and it entices them even more. And the, the spinner blade on the spinner actually gives off that same style flash. So that's what makes a spinnerbait really attractive. The vibration, the flash, the color. It's a winning combo right there. So that's a willow leaf. The other most common spinner bait you're going to run into is the Colorado style spinner bait. This guy is a little bit more of an aggressive style spinner bait uh, with the teardrop shape blades. Uh, it is going to give off heavy vibrations. You will feel this thing in your pole more than you will a willow leaf. And this thing will put out a ton of vibration through the water. This is great to use in really cloudy, cloudy conditions, uh, where uh, cloudy water conditions, I should say, where you can, your water visibility is very poor. Um, it's great to use at night. Of course, at night, I like to use a darker colored uh, bait, and that's with any kind of fishing, not just in spinner baits. The darker colored baits stand out more. They give off more of a shadow in the dark rather than brightness. It, it's they see the shadow, more or less the silhouette of it stands out more. So that's where I would go with that. So now, here's a little tip for using on spinner baits. We're going to take your average spinner bait and give it just a little more with a simple grub tail. 50 mix, I swear by it. I always regret if I ever throw a spinner bait without a grub tail on it and don't catch anything I'll blame the not having a grub tail you know how it's never our fault or it's just a bad day of fishing but I would I would always feel more comfortable throwing a grub tail so I've got just a basic grub tail here and I am going to slide it up the shank of the hook of course I flipped our Colorado style spinner bait upside down you can see you have a barb here that's perfect for seeding your grub onto the hook. So let's go ahead and feed this grub up on the hook here. And you want to look at your length of about how long that's going to be before you make your turn and then let your, your hook kind of pierce out here. So now our hook's starting to come through. See, see it there? That's about what we need. Run that sucker down and let it seat on that uh, on that shank there 
And there you go. There's your grub tail. Fix your skirt. And as you can see, that is a pretty spinnerbait. Where I like to use the grub tail is when a bass will strike it, sometimes they'll bump it. Not take it all the way in their mouth, they'll bump it. And they're going to feel a little bit more squish, a little more softness before they feel that hook, and that hardness. And that to me makes me believe, and I've had a lot more strikes with the grub tail, where they'll bump it and they come back and get it. Because it was soft, it felt nice, it was attractive. A lot of grub tails have scents, flavors, salts on them. And they'll get that little bit of flavor and they'll come back for that big strike and then they'll they'll hook themselves for the most part. So I really like to add a grub tail. Well, hopefully this information was useful for you guys. Good luck and we'll see you on the water.